Hey guys, and welcome to an easy tutorial on how to read and write binary. Now we're just gonna hop right into this because it's only gonna take about five minutes and it's gonna be super easy. Uh, so basically the concept of binary is there's only two different values in a, a select number. It's either on or off, zero or one. Zero being off, one being on. And when there's a one there, that means we're gonna use that value. Now the set values are the same for every binary number. It starts from the right and moves over to the left. The right side being one and then moving to two, four, 8, 16, and so on. It basically doubles every single time. If it's easier to think of it for you, each one is two raised to the power of n. So the first one's two to the zero, then two to the one, then two to the two, and so forth. Otherwise, it's just doubling from the number one. So now that we have these set values in here, a binary number, all it does is say whether we use that value or we don't. So let's say we have the number 1101. As you see, we don't even use the 16th power over there, so we can actually ignore that. So all this number says is there's a one over the eight, that means we're gonna use eight. So write down eight. A one over the four, we're gonna use four. So plus four, zero over two, so we're not gonna add two. And then one over one, so we're gonna add one. So one, one, zero, one actually equals the number eight plus four plus one. And all that is is eight plus four is 12, plus one is 13. So that number is 13 in binary. Now, a very easy way to do this, because obviously you're, you might not know off the top of your head how many digits am I gonna need to go because it goes one, two, four, eight, and obviously you're gonna have to get higher and higher the bigger number you get. You can take the number you have and you wanna convert it to binary and just keep dividing it by two. Now, the way this works is actually really simple, so let me further explain myself. So let's say we have the number 26. Now, we can divide that by two and if we are able to evenly divide that, so basically if the number is even, it will divide by two. If the number is odd, it's not gonna be able to divide by two evenly. So if we have 26, we can divide that by two once and get 13. So 26 divided by two equals 13. We have no remainder, so we're gonna write a zero there. Then we go again, divide by 13, so, or divide by two. So we have 13 divided by two. Now that we can't divide by two because it'll give us 6.5, which isn't a whole number. So what we can do is get the six out of it because two can fit into 13 six times, but then we have that one left over, which we have to split into two parts. So basically an easy way to think of it is if it can't divide by two, just subtract one from it and then divide by two. So basically 13 divided by two isn't six, but if we take one away, so remainder one, and then we do 12 divided by two, that is six. So now we have a one on the outside and then keep doing this. So now we have six. So now six divided by two, well that divides evenly, that's three. Equals three, no remainder, we write a zero. And then we divide that by three. Three divided by two, well, we're running into the same error. Well, we take the one out, remainder one, and then we say, well, three minus one is two, and two does go into two. So we write a zero there, or a one, sorry. Two goes into two, one time. <laughs> now we're stuck with one, and once you get down to this point, you know you're reaching the end because you're getting to such a small number. One divided by two, well that obviously doesn't work, and there's nothing we can do, because if we subtract one from it, you're gonna get a zero, so you subtract one, because that's what happens when you have an odd number. We have an odd number with one, subtract one, becomes zero, and then that means that we're done with this, but since we subtracted one, remember every time we take that one out, we have to put it to the side. And now this number on the side is exactly what your binary number is from last to first. So our binary number is 11010, and that is the number 26. So let's step back through this. So first, you take the number, you divide it by two. If it is an even number, it'll divide evenly, which will give you a value of zero for that one spot. If it's an odd number, subtract one from it and then divide it by two. But whenever you subtract the one, you have to make sure that that spot is filled with the one. So just write a one next to it. And then when you're done all the way down to where it gets to zero, when you get to like, in this case, one half, subtracted one became zero, then you know you're done with the whole dividing by two step. And then your remainder, obviously you take one away, it becomes zero, and that'll be your last one. And so this is just a little trick, faster way to convert it that I like to use. And then if you want to, you can double check this. So let's do one, one, zero, one, zero. Moving from the right to the left, remember, the first one is a one, the second one is a two, then four, eight, and 16. So we have one 16, so we have 16. We have a one over eight, so plus eight. We have zero over four, so we don't touch that. We have a one over two, so plus two, and we don't have anything over a one, so we're done. So if you add those up, 16 plus eight plus two, equals 16 plus eight is 24, plus two is 26. So that all checks out. Hope you guys uh, had a good time learning this binary code. And if you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything I can explain more in depth for you, uh, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed.